Hey guys, it's David. Today we'll be doing Take the Uninhabited Floating City. I'll be showing you how to S rank it the easy way. I don't know if there's really an easy way here to be honest, but it, I find this mission isn't super hard. The main problem is kind of managing where the attacks are coming from and knowing that. So after you get to the to your first point, your meetup point, you have to just head down to the center here. This is where the first thing's gonna come. Main tip I can give you on this is to use the radar, that little thing in your bottom where you see the little pointy arrow, you see a bunch of red dots just appear on it. It's gonna show tell you where this stuff is coming from. Because not everything is gonna show you that exclamation point. My build right here is I'm using a the second level of missiles and uh, laser pistols. It's a fun build. I'm gonna showcase it in another uh, video. I don't know if it's like the best build for this, but it gets the job done. Just a good all around build. It's just quick and fun to use. See, like these guys aren't showing up as a, they're not showing up as an exclamation point. So these guys might sneak through if you're not paying attention. Try not to fall, but I fall all the time on this thing. I like being on the top thing, the top row here. This guy will take a while to come, but see, since you're looking at the radar, you don't, you need, you know what's here. Only, the only red dots are right here, so we take them out. Now you're, look, you're clear right now. The red dots show up, and you know something's coming. So that gives you a peace of mind to try to keep your, your wits about you here. Laser thing's gonna shoot these guys down here. Boom, boom. All right. Take care of the guys at the bottom. No need to worry about it. I'll fly over. Take these guys out, some missiles, laser pistol these guys down. And now I see I see the red dots there, so I'm going to head over here and take those guys out too. Missile them, shoot them, we're clear. Now at the three minute marks, or a little after the three minute marks, snipers are gonna appear, so I'm moving over to here to set up and to prepare for them. Because two are gonna spawn. I think, believe it's the one next to it. One's gonna land right beside me and the one's, other one's gonna land to the left. I think this is probably the hardest part of the whole mission. Three more minutes. Hang in there, tourist. So. Now we've got snipers. Hey, tourist, go clear them out. I'm gonna shout out missile them. Missiles don't always hit when they're, uh, before they land. I fly over here. He's unfortunately going to get shot off. And another one's going to fly over, land there. Back to where that other guy was. I, I try not like I, I like to stay up top, but I can't always do it. So now I got to like follow them. I probably should have salt boosted there, but we'll take him out. Land, try and take him out where he can get the job done. It'll be Here's like the sixth sniper. He's gonna land, go take him out quick, and then there's a seventh one in the back. He unfortunately gets his shot off. A long range weapon is probably pretty good in this, uh, on this map. Now the tech two minute mark right after it is when the suicide drones come. So I'm gonna put up here, I don't know a great way to deal with all of these to protect it from taking zero damage, but here's how I deal with it. That's been my best solution so far. We'll get on top of here. I float up. And once I get close, I just assault armor. Which takes out quite a few of them. And it takes a bit of damage, but not a ton. We'll access that. Shoot them down. Now at this point, I like kind of like to stay near the center because some of these uh, helicopters just travel so fast that it's really hard to keep up. This guy can be a little bit tough, so you got to be careful when taking him out because he can uh, he can stagger you pretty easy, do some damage. I'll take him out as fast as I can, and then I'll salt armor again. Take him out as quickly as possible. Burst him. Then I'm just going to stay in the center here for this last final wave. And just keep uh, moving back and forth to take these guys out. Pretty easy. 
As long as you have a build that can you know, take out these small guys pretty quick. You're pretty much on cruise control at this point. You can go out to pursue them, but like I said, they these helicopters move so fast that sometimes you're risking uh you're gonna risk taking some damage at the you know the original spot if you just let them uh let them sneak in behind you. I'm just keeping an eye on the radar, seeing where they're coming from. Just taking these guys out. I don't, they're not fast enough to actually get there. But I like killing them, so. I do. I believe S rank for this, as long as the Xylem still has its shield, and you know, the actual like building doesn't take damage, you should get S rank. Now my repair costs are very low. My ammunition costs are all right, but still get the S rank. I think the main thing is the Xylem self. Not 100% sure on that, but that's how I did it. And that's how you can do it too. So as I said, use your radar, all right? To keep track of where things are. And of course the sniper things, I showed you where the locations are. So just try and take those guys out as quickly as possible. Suicide drones, assault armor, seems to work pretty well. What I did there to uh, mitigate most of the damage there, so. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.